My name is Glenn Brand. I'm the Sierra Club main chapter director. The office is here in Portland down the street. Yeah. Uh, on behalf of the more than 18,000 Sierra Club members in Maine, I'm here to send a strong message to all Mainers, and especially to Senators Angus King and Susan Collins, that Trump's Supreme Court nominee Neil Gorsuch poses a significant threat to our nation's environmental protection laws. Uh, the Trump administration, sadly, is already shaping up to be the most anti-environmental administration in our nation's history. Uh, and with your help, we will defeat most of Trump's irresponsible efforts to promote dirty fossil fuels and to halt progress on climate protection. The bizarre Trump era, the bizarre Trump era will hopefully be very short, but the harmful impact of his Supreme Court choices may last for generations. Now, that's why Sierra Club and others are adamantly opposing Gorsuch. Gorsuch has a troubling record of denying environmental groups and other public interests access to the federal courts to challenge or defend federal government actions and to enforce environmental and public health safeguards. And we are especially concerned about Gorsuch's position to overturn one of the legal foundations of modern environmental progress, the so-called Chevron Doctrine, that gives agencies like the EPA the role of interpreting and setting specific protection standards rather than leave it up to Congress or judges. To give you an idea of how radical Gorsuch's position is, even the late far-right Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia supported the Chevron Doctrine. That's right, Gorsuch is further to the right than Antonin Scalia. Uh, simply put, Gorsuch's view would prevent government agencies from being able to do their job and establish safeguards for our clean air and water. This is simply unacceptable. Uh, I urge everyone here to call Senators Collins and King today, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, call them, urge them to reject Gorsuch to require all Supreme Court nominees to, relieve, to receive at least 60 votes. The message is to say no to Gorsuch. The message is clear to them. Say no to Gorsuch, but also insist that there be a 60 vote threshold to support not only Gorsuch, but all future Supreme Court nominees. Yes. Yes. Nearly all Democratic senators have stated that they oppose Gorsuch and want the 60 vote threshold, but the vote is going to be very close. Senator King has yet to take a public stance, and disappointingly, Senator Collins announced last week she would vote to approve Gorsuch. That's why it's so important to call. Call, call, and call again. Urge your friends, your family, your co-workers to call their offices. Together we can stop the trumping of our Supreme Court. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. How many people here have been making so many phone calls our fingers are